Hello everyone. Welcome back to some more Let's Play Mother. Before we begin, there's a few things I want to talk about really quick. Number one, you might have noticed that my children's well-being is different than what it was at the end of the last episode. This is because during one of these next few nights, I lost my patience with the game thanks to some of the way the game's interface works. We'll talk more about that particular aspect when I reach it in the game. But I lost my temper, and the game became not as frightening or horrifying to me, but instead became just gameplay mechanics, frustration, and stupidity. I lost my temper, and I don't like doing that on screen very often. So I've decided to redo this episode, as it were. And as such, I've given cookies to the children when I remembered to actually give them cookies. So our well-being is a little better. We're going to finish this game one way or another, I think. And uh, we'll talk more about this sort of thing mm, during the evening when we're sleeping. I'm bored. Let's play hide and seek. We go first. Count to ten, Mommy. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. That hiss was Tommy. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. How did you find me? You'll never find Kyle. That was interesting. We lost a point of stamina. We were wounded. I did not even realize we might be able to get them back. We weren't wounded before, everyone, you and I together. But I took several wounds over the next few days, trying to get through this game. I did not realize that you can actually find your stamina points and heal yourself if you are wounded. There's not much many more places he could be. So, why on earth would we continue to play this game? I have no clue. We should have stopped a long time ago and taken the kids out of this nightmarish apartment and brought them any place else. As I, and ourselves as well. As I suspect, I think that this must be a dream. It has to be. There's nothing else it could be, I think. This 
There you are. How'd you know where to look? Because I ran out of other places you could be hiding. It's your turn now, Mommy. Go find a place to hide, Mommy. Hide from us. I've just stumbled upon some medical papers from Jack. It says here that Tommy didn't actually die at birth. Can you explain, Mary? I've discovered as well, everyone, that if you right-click on a message on the while having the phone up, you will actually close the message down. That wasn't one of our children. Thanks for playing with us, Mom. Okay, you're welcome, kids. Let's see if we can find a cookie for you. I guess we can bring Kyle to sleep. We won! Maybe you'll win next time. You'll note that we were so obsessed with winning that even after we saw Tommy in that room looking for us, we refused to warn our kids. We were determined to stay put and not breathe in order to win the game of hide-and-seek. That's dedication. Obviously, this mom was using a pro-gamer move here in order to win that game, but I guess it didn't work out in, in the end. They still found us. All right, I definitely want to find that the cookie and give it to Kayla. Let's see. The game spawns it in random places, from what I can tell. And I would like to know where it is. So we can give it, again, to Gila. Is it down here? Nope, it's just a plant. I didn't see it in your room. Nope, okay. Let's check down here. I think this is a different evening, and I think the cookie shows up once per evening. Someplace... Is it in the bathroom? It's in the bathroom today. Don't leave cookies in the bathroom. <laughs> Don't leave any sugar in the bathroom. If the bathroom is moist, mold's going to grow on whatever food you put, you put into it. I've had, um, I drink Zequel and NyQuil to help me sleep. And sometimes I, so uh, in between... Uh, evenings, I will fill the little cup that you pour the nickel into, uh, Z-Quil into, uh, fill it with water so that this way it doesn't have a grody, dry liquid in it um, in between in between evenings. If I forget to dump that water out after three days, mold will be growing in it. So, yeah, don't no sugar. Don't let anything in there that in your bathrooms that are moist. Unless your bathroom is completely aired out, and even then, it's it's the bathroom. It's wet. You're taking showers in it. You're washing. You're washing up in it. You're brushing your teeth in it. But please, please don't do what you saw this mother do.
I'm still not sure what this is that we see behind us here. It looks like it should be some type of skin or something that we're looking at the inside of, like out of it. Some sort of odd cocoon or something. I don't understand the shakiness of it or the sound effect we're hearing either. All right, so I believe... No, 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 let's keep going, Tim. This is night six. those weird sounds are. I cannot open it. Let's try to get a hammer or something from our room. Is Kyle okay? Help him! The power's gone off in the house. She's running. She's terrified. <laughs> Is the monster gone? Scared, follow me. I'm scared. I am too, Kayla. The monster just tried to take one of my children. Let's, let's, let's have you go to bed. Surely you'll be safe there. <laughs> Dear residents, Due to heavy water damage, the main generator, the electricity supply for the building, has been significantly lowered. We recommend that you be careful and limit the amount of power you are consuming simultaneously. If your power goes out, the fuse box located inside your apartment will allow you to restart the power. We are working hard to fix the situation. Our apologies for the annoyance that this is causing. So, you are allowed to have four lights on in the house, I'm, I think. She looks like we can have more than that on. Okay, we can have more than that on, I guess, tonight. But in the future, we will not be allowed to have that many lights on. Cookies in your room. I... Let's leave it here, and we'll see if we have another just normal evening. Oh, sorry, another um, evening. If another encounter will occur this evening. Seems like a trap to me. We have nothing to do. Everything's done. I shall go back to bed. I can't sleep with that noise. What noise? There's no noise. There's no noise. And the door's been been opened before for our ha apartment. To celebrate your first funeral with Harmonia and the start of our, your membership, you're eligible for a gift. A flower bouquet will arrive at your door soon. This is totally not it. This is some sort of plant. There are, there are no flowers on this object. We are living in a crazy world, and for some reason, 
Uh, we must do something with this plant besides throw it away, which is what I would be doing <laughs> with a strange plant. Water the plant, place the plant. Yep, we've got to do these things. This is, this is unbelievably strange. There you go. I guess you'll get all that beautiful sunlight from out here that we've been having. Now we'll water it and we'll give it the good water. The bottled water, some Dicea water. Di Dicean? Di Dicean? That's right, no green park, uh, sorry, deer park for you. That's Tommy. He's looking for us, I think. Mom, help! Is the monster gone? Yes, come along. Kayla, the monster's gone. We can... Here, this will make it all better for you. This will make it all better. There you go. That makes up for the fact that a monster took you out of your bed, carried you into the, into the storage room, dropped you there, and began stealing your soul. By staring at you hungrily. I suppose it must be chocolate chip, not oatmeal raisin. Because chocolate chip, I can, I can see a kid doing that for a chocolate chip cookie. Alright, surely nothing else will happen. Let's go to bed. It's, I shouldn't ruin the, ruin the horror atmosphere, everyone. I'm sorry. But it's so weird. The longer I think that that creature has your child on the ground, the more well-being they will lose. I believe that if the child is on the ground long enough, the monster will kill it. Kayla or Kyle will die. So you probably want to keep your kids alive. Though the game I've heard does not end if indeed both of them die. I guess the creature comes after you then, as we just saw earlier. I think you have a few seconds to react with your camera right before it tries to grab you. But that's that's it. That's that's the only chance you have of scaring it off. Night seven. He's still there. Every night. What the fuck is going on? I'm scared. I've called the cops, but they've told me they haven't found any trace of anyone. I'm sure he stood behind my door last night, silent, just... listening. He's trying to break in. What should I do? I'm seeing less and less neighbors around. He's killing everyone. I need to get out of here. And with that... panic... I think we would, too. Water Martin's plant. Yep. I don't know who Martin is. Wait, there's no Martin here. Do you guys see a Martin? I don't know who Martin is, but he, he was the one who apparently left us the plant, and we appeared to need them to water it. So let's go ahead and get that done, I suppose.
Yep. <laughs> we care. Anything in our care, be it kids, plants, animals, someone, I guess, at least a gift box or something of some, uh, some any, anything that's alive. Anything that, that's alive, that's given to us, we will care for it in this apartment. This apartment. Maybe the rate's really good, like 10 bucks a month to stay here. And utilities are included. And they maybe they give you money for staying in the apartment instead. Maybe this is our job. Our job is to stay in the apartment. That that must be it. Is someone trying to break into your house? Mary, you have to do something. <laughs> Install the front door alarm. I think I need a screwdriver. We saw a screwdriver back here. Now this was where I lost my patience. I cannot turn the screwdriver by having the cursor over it or even next to it, it simply will not turn the screwdriver. I tried for like five minutes of clicking multiple times, turning the screwdriver. The way to turn it, you gotta keep your cursor as far away from it as possible <laughs> in order to turn it. It makes no sense to me at all. And I, I had to look up online, I had to watch people do this evening so I could see how to turn the freaking screwdriver. And I was so mad, and I'm still mad. This is taking way, way longer than it should. And now we have to click on another screw in order to turn it. And it doesn't matter which screw you choose, they're all equally as terrible to try to turn. Yep. And this is boring. <laughs> you should just have to click on this and your character should just screw it in for you. Or maybe you maybe you could have to click on the screwdriver once or twice and that would do it. I can understand why they want the oh. Thank you. 
What was that noise? What are you protecting us from? I don't know. Now, everyone, I had to replay through the game up to this night to get this far again so I could keep playing. That crying. If you start the game and don't run immediately to your apartment to get in for night zero, you will hear that crying coming from one of the neighbor's homes with, and the door is slightly ajar in his apartment or her apartment. That makes me think that I am completely wrong uh, in so much as the this is all a horrible dream and that instead this reality is different from the one that you and I live in and these creatures do exist in this world. Hello, Mary. Do you feel safe in there? Yep, feel absolutely fine, by the way. <laughs> absolutely fine. By the way, if you see a horrible, horrible demon running around my house seeing my kids, could you let me know what room it ran into? If it ran in here, could you, like, knock really loud so I know which room it took my kid in? Thanks, neighbor. The whole situation involving what we're doing seems unreal to me, but the atmosphere for the game is amazing. They've nailed the horror aspect of this dead on perfect i feel the the build-up introduction of these creatures the way they act the music the sound it's it's really well done really well done but the story is so frustrating and the controls are also frustrating the controls in particular i also got caught in geometry um, this upcoming evening and this upcoming evening is what made me uh, quit the game I complained I cursed really loud well not really loud but I cursed and swore gave it a really miserable review really quick and that was it and I'm like no Tim we shouldn't do that we should play the game show the viewers at home and then do a good review of it which is to say an honest and fair one at the very end now let's try to reach let's try to get through this evening last time I was unable to complete it thanks to a bug That was Tommy. Tommy can hurt us if we just bumble into him. He's inside Kyle's room. Is 
the monster gone? It is. Kyle, go back to bed. Maybe we're starting to feel concerned about some of the sounds we're hearing. Living room, by the television. Mom, help! Is the monster gone? It is, Kyle. Come on. We haven't looked at our tasks yet for the day. Kayla's not in her bed. Oh my god, that scared the heck out of me. I'm sorry, everyone. I'm sorry. Survive the night. All right, Kayla, come on. It is. Let's get you back to your bed. There might be a cookie out here somewhere. There's our life. Let's go take it. That is so interesting that, that we can do that. Now, Tommy is smart. And he knows how many lights are allowed to be on in the house. And he will turn on lights in order to make them all power off. I mean, look at what time it is. Almost three in the morning. And we're hearing sounds of children screaming for their lives? What is happening in there? walking and looking for us. Actually, no. I think it's left currently. Tommy must absolutely hate bright lights. Oh, looks like we actually survived the night. We see a check mark. Let's find the cookie. In case anything else happens this evening, I'll want to know where it is so I can give it to the, the kids, if I can. There it is, inside the storage. It's in the front door. No, it's not. The monster is gone. You're okay. Come on, follow me. Here, for being such a trooper. So the only way that would make sense to me as to what's happening is not currently happening is that the texts are not real. And that we are the ones bringing the kids out of their rooms. Or maybe maybe the, the big text is real and we're a monster doing this to the kids. Consider this a warning. We'll report you to the police if you hear your children scream like that again. We hope that this is just all a misunderstanding. If you want to clear things up, please come by. S screw you freaking neighbors. 
Although, although if, we, if we stop and examine this logically, um, no, no, no one else, I suppose, in the entire world knows what's actually happening here, right? Like, no one really understands that there's a monster running around, kidnapping your kids, trying to... It's not, they're not, it's not eating them, unless it's like, has that like a proboscis we can't see, and it's slowly beginning to pull it out like an alien uh, from the alien movies, and then it uh, injects it into the kids to kill them. If it's like just stares at them waiting for them to wake up or open their eyes so they can do that to them and, and get them when they're terrified. That's the only thing that, that would make sense as to why it's waiting like that. That's a pretty nightmarish thing to think about out loud, Tim. Holy freaking crap. The lights, by the way, they go off in every room in the house when you go to bed, as far as I can tell. And they come on in this room, from what I've seen so far. Turn, if you turn off that, that light, it doesn't matter. After about maybe the one-third mark of falling asleep, they go back on again. I guess we sleep with the lights on in our room. Okay, Kyle has to get the next cookie. When everything from here on out is new to me, so let's see, let's see what we can do. We'll do this evening, and then that will do it for us, I think. We might as well get out of bed now. Night nine. Board up every window. Yep, I'm not even gonna read our text. We're gonna. There's no boards there. Okay, good. I saw Alpha Beta Gamer do this. I think this was about the last evening that I saw him do. Tommy turned on... The washing machine. It drains power, probably. Oh, I, I hit flash. I know I hit flash. Okay, we need to find out where he stole that and where he... Where did he bring it? Okay, we'll, we'll find it later. Let's go ahead and board this up. Wow, well that's pretty mean. I saw it. We have one over here. That's probably Tommy, but I need my... I need her life back. Inside Kyle's room. Okay. Help, Mommy! It's okay, Kyle. Let's get you back to bed. I'll, we'll find the cookie later. We have more We have more to lock up. I saw our other lo life lying around, but I don't know where it went. That's Tommy again. Tommy's by the front door. That's Kyle. Oh, no, that's Kayla. And I think it took it to the front door. Took it, took Kayla to the front door. All right, Kayla, come on. Actually, Kayla, stay with me. We're gonna board this up. Ah! 
I wonder what happens when we die. I need to search those rooms for more life. <laughs> Dying. Okay. Back in back in shape. Let's get this window boarded. I had died in the last evening and got stuck in geometry instead of being able to... Uh, not died, I'm sorry. I was dying in the last one and was unable to, um... Unable to get out of some geometry the, the game stuck me in. And that had been the last straw for me. Now, where's the last vent that goes outside? Must be in one of the small rooms. The bathroom. I didn't see the cookie anywhere. We're gonna quickly look for it. All right, we have all our life back. Good. All right, there it is. In case it attacks us again this evening. We may wake up. This 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 night might not yet be over. You should use planks to barricade your house. I know it sounds extreme, but you shouldn't take any risks. You must do everything to protect Kayla and Kyle. And it sounds like a dream still to me. And I think we won. I think uh I think Tommy has given up. Wasn't able to use the cookie for the evening. All right, well, so we're going to stop here. Thank you guys for watching. I'm glad I am playing this again. I do really much, very, very much like the gameplay while well, main loop. If this is what it's going to be like, like running around, barricading things while at the same time trying to save my kids, finding the life in case Tommy attacks me as well, I, I like this. I think the gameplay loop is very, very good. Um, unfortunately, again, uh, the glitches and the, and the frustration with the various interactive puzzles can be very, that's very annoying. I noticed that the hammer didn't seem to click all, like I tried clicking on the nails and it wasn't working all the time. That's gonna be so annoying if I had to do this like every evening or try to repair repair boards during this, during other evenings. And I'm not looking forward, I'm not looking forward to having to fight off the giant silver creature, Lad the Laughing Man when he shows up. Oh, I, we need, a, we need some type of weapon if we want to be able to defend ourselves at this rate. All right. Well, I'm done. So let's go ahead and uh, pick up. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm done. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care, everyone.